cannot deny the day of the traveler's over. There's nowhere to go and there's nowhere to bide. So farewell to the life of the road. Farewell to the tent and the old caravan. To the tinker, the gypsy, the travelling man. And farewell to the thirty foot trailer. Farewell to the cant and the travelling tongue. Farewell to the Roman token. The buying and selling, the old fortune telling, the knock on the door and the hawking. Farewell to the tent and the old caravan. To the tinker, the gypsy, the travelling man. And farewell to the thirty foot trailer. I'm just saying, if I'm, if lucky, I'm lucky like I was yesterday, then the odds are that I'll be lucky today. What do you mean yesterday? You found some stuff yesterday? It wasn't a lot. What was it? It, it looked, looked like change. change. It was fit in the palm of my hands. What was the target ID number? Uh, it was, it was above 86. I forget what it was. It didn't, it wasn't that much. 86 I said was above silver. It didn't look like a gray silver that I've seen. It looked like yellow gold. Did you take any pictures of it? My battery was dead. There's no way I took a picture. It's a guarantee that I find something good because I've got the, what do they call it when someone's new and really lucky? Is it newbie? Uh, beginner's luck. If you're lucky, I'm lucky, right? I'm just saying, if I'm lucky today, then it's just like yesterday. It's 86 and over. You split though, right? If I find something 86, I will call it. We split, right? This is called The Orville by Seth MacFarlane. It's on Fox. It's one of his babies. It's his baby. And a man protects his baby. I want something fun and something light and something that harkens back to a time where I used to enjoy Star Trek Next Generation as a child. We're talking, I don't know when it came out, 86 or something like that, 85, 86? I don't know, but that's one of the last shows I was watching live, okay? This is the closest thing I can get because I'll tell you, I saw Star Trek Discovery or whatever the new one is. I don't have any words for it. I have nothing to say. I'm just going to tell you this, though. The Orville is more like Star Trek than the new Star Trek. And I need something to relax, something to lift my spirits and lift the weight off of me. Something that I know that I can enjoy that has no side effects, that has no serious repercussions, that doesn't tax you too much emotionally or physically or mentally. Something that's just... A fa on, it's on a family channel, it's on a family time slot, and it has a cast of friendly characters, and it's on board the Orville. It's named after Orville Redenbacher. I'm sure you can guess that. So it's a popcorn ship, and I feel like entertainment tonight. This is episode three. Number one's Old Wounds. Number two is Command Performance. Number three is About a Girl. We're starting with About a Girl. The first one, Old Wounds, that refers to Captain McFarlane, whose wife, uh, it came a point where he wasn't spending enough time with her and he didn't balance his life correctly. He didn't do marriage counseling and stuff like that. So she ended up jumping in the sack and letting another guy fuck her. And it wasn't her husband that was doing it. She got in bed on her back and let another guy take advantage of her body in places that men are prone to take advantage of in a female. And she was married, but that didn't seem to matter her, to her, but that's that's fine. I'm not going to judge. It's called Old Wounds, and this is an old wound. Because when Captain McFarland first got commissioned the Orville, he was commanded to, to uh, sail the space <laughs> seas and, and see what he could find. 
And what they did is that they stuffed him, his number one, his second in command commander. They they stuck him with his ex-wife with him on crew. So he had to deal with being um, being, you know, he's wearing horns the whole time. He's cuckolded the whole time. So he gets on a ship and and the commander is the ex-wife who, she's in bed with a man. He's different. He's not even human for starters. He's of a different species. And she's in bed, and it's just one of those things. He walks in, and he sees this, and I don't remember what he did, to be honest with you. But it wasn't good. But it's fine. That's how Seth MacFarlane deals with those things. His face, when he knows that he's going to be on the ship the whole time with his ex-wife, and it's nonstop. It's nonstop. She's nonstop by his side. And I don't really feel like starting with the first episode because that'll open up some old wounds for me. <laughs> and command performance will will give me some flashbacks about my performance in the past. And I don't want to think of that because I don't want to I don't want to beat myself up sexually. I'm not going to do that. This the third one is called About a Girl, and that sounds like more up my speed. About a girl. This is a first time viewing. Of about a girl. I figured out of all these, this would be the most sexually appealing to me. I can't wait for this. I've been looking forward. I've been following Seth MacFarlane my whole goddamn life. He put out Family Guy on Fox and it got thrown off. You know, I don't know what they did, but I remember a year or two or whatever it came back. It could have been the next year. It could have never been canceled. I don't remember. I just, that's what I remember. I'm just not. Yeah, <laughs> Family Guy unfortunately was stifled before it really came into, it bloomed into fruition. Uh, even though it was really god, good, it was really god, it got good ratings, it still got thrown off. People were pissed. People were really hoping the show was going to be renewed, maybe someone else would pick it up, but it just never materialized. It just never, <laughs> it just never got off the ground. It never got off the ground. And it's a really big tragedy, so I'm really happy that Seth MacFarlane is back, and he is showing what his children can do, what his babies can do, because I know, because he's on Twitter, he's very active on Twitter about the show, I know he feels very strongly about it, it doesn't seem like just PR to me, it seems like it's a, a brainchild, it's a love child, it's his seed straight up spraying into a TV screen and then growing into a whole cast of lovable characters, a setting that is unforgettable, uh, a plot and a premise that is, it's simply to die for, from what I've gotten so far. It was a bit rough at, at first, with the whole thing about him getting taunted by pretty much everybody, the whole show, because his wife was in bed with another, with a, uh, a different man, and he's blue. So, it's not a thing, you know, it's just a taboo that she engaged in. And that's fine, because in this 2265 or whatever it is, Females especially, human females are especially encouraged to engage in inter... That's a pizza alarm. They're really, they're really engaged in inter sort of things. <laughs> and after everyone was pointing it out, everyone, the show, the script, the... Ev I mean, the everything was, you know, his past sex life. And that's when I, that's when I really understood for the first time that, unfortunately, his wife's infidelity was inevitable. Mainly because he didn't balance his life or something. His, he had to work. I don't know what he did. But he didn't balance something. And he didn't spend enough time with her. And he didn't go to marriage counseling. counseling. He didn't go to marriage counseling. So she had no choice but to just accept something from somebody else. And it was inevitable. It's inevitable. It's inevitable that this happens to almost every man that's married. That's what I've gathered from the show. Because these these shows, they teach me. That's really tough. I'm sorry.
she's healthy. Fifteen pounds, two ounces. Oh, that's right. That other guy, the, the weird-looking guy, him right in the middle, he ha he was sitting on an egg. An egg came out of his one in a million. His bottom, and he hatched it. Female is born roughly once every seventy-five years. Here's to the only girl in town. Well, not many females born in the I would like to be alone. Male race of the aliens, right here. Totally fine. We should be on the bridge anyway. Come on, guys. Congrats, you two. I'd rather not. I'd honestly rather not uh, let them two alone with a kid. It must be done. Yes. I will make the arrangements. Is one of them going to marry one of the kid or something? Like, what's what sort of what sort of thing they have cooked up for this thing? It's a healthy baby girl that was born into the the race. I forget what they're called. My quarters. Look this is Norm Macdonald harnessed to his fullest. No He's playing a slime glob whatsoever. instead of being live action and, in the show, which is car. great. <laughs> You don't have lungs, which means you don't have yep. a cough. He wants her, to, wants her to check his balls or something. Doctor, I require your help. Sure. What do you need? You need a vaccine. It would take two weeks for the Orville to reach my home planet, Mockless, from our present It doesn't location. take long, that long to get I a vaccine. I do not believe the captain would be able to divert course. Therefore, Clyden and I would like you to perform the procedure. What I procedure? have vaccine shots. To conform our child. To make her a male. They're gonna give an infant that just came into the world. Now this baby's not in the mood for sex, that's for damn sure. When a baby is born, it's probably in the mood for parenting and nourishment. I doubt that a baby is straight up horny when it, when it is born right after that. I, I, I don't know, it seems unlikely. It's the first thing on their mind is not what this baby's gonna be, what this, what this, this female is gonna do, it's, no, we're gonna have to have sex with it the first thing we get. The first chance we get when everyone's out of the room, Doors, lock, sex, now. An ancient race of aliens, noble. I will not perform a sex change on a perfectly healthy newborn. Now why the... You ever hear the Hippocratic <laughs> Oath? Why the hell wouldn't she? <laughs> we don't have daughters, we have, we have ass eggs. I would hope that you would respect that. <laughs> look at this guy's name! Wait. I am... <laughs> oh, look at the executive producer. <laughs> Holy shit. Hold on. <laughs> Come on. My world is <laughs> That's different not... than yours. I would hope that you would respect that. <laughs> I am a union doctor serving on a union ship. <laughs> and I will not Call him Chevron. Cherry Chevron. Ah, oh, our first foray into the, the holodeck. I bet this is going to be a really good engagement with gunfire. Tumbleweeds. This is like a movie he's done before. Surrender now, and maybe we'll ask the judge to go easy on you. I think maybe you are blind. <laughs> the judge gonna bang his ass you're out. Outnumbered. You willing to take that chance? You he said, "You got any change?" Out. Perhaps we settle this the traditional way. You will be defeated, Senor. Excuse me, Captain. Captain. I have an well, infant that I want to marry. Can you perform the ceremony? Wait, wait, man, we're in the middle of the game here. It no, it's just sex. This isn't the ceremony. It's just sex. Right, Can you be, be there with us? Okay, well, I'm gone. Fix this thing, huh? Okay. Yeah, I'll we'll fix do. this thing for you, Mr. Hands. Come with me. <laughs> I'll show you to my bedroom. It's where I keep my kid. Yeah, he's fucking the air. Now he's smelling weed. <laughs> now he's trying not to choke on a dick. Here's the Orville, it's a nice shoe. All right, what is so urgent? You know, I get like one free hour. I told you, I want to marry my kid. Coffee. Can you perform Captain, the ceremony? Dr. Finn has refused to perform a necessary medical procedure on my child. We got vaccines, medical we got everything. Procedure. In human biology, is there not an occasional mutation called a cleft palate? There's an occasional mutation yeah, called sure. chi molesters. A child born with this condition. Chimo, it's, we call it chimo. Corrected right after birth takes about 12 seconds. Oh and why do you not wait and let the child decide for himself whether he wishes <laughs> How to am I supposed to see if my kid is a healthy, functioning human being unless I read the Kinsey right? report? Captain, where I'm from, we Isn't have it? sex with our kids as soon as they're born. It's not like that on your planet. Don't degrade my male race just because you don't have sex with your kids the second they're born. In our world, our sexual kids are sexual beings the second they're born. And if you don't explore their sexuality the second they're born, you're not a real... Until it collides with the planet. One month, 17 days. Culture. So that gives us a little time. Lieutenant Lamar, activate yeah. cutting beam. <laughs> She's really good. Have you checked in with Bordas? I, no, I, know, I didn't know a ship that usually had two up. captains. I feel so sorry for that baby. There's nothing sadder than an unwanted child. 
was one thing sadder. Yeah, it's a kid that is, feels unattractive and unsexual oh, when it's born. Are you talking about Boris's baby sex change? This is a mission of asteroid testing. What are they doing? Is this, oh, they're doing a tractor. Altered. The fragments will no longer collide with LNAF-4. Well, couldn't save a marriage, but we just saved a planet. Excuse me? Captain, we're receiving a transmission that was funny. from Oculus. It's from the she was in bed with another man, and he's laughing about it. Mr. Kabrak. Put him on. Channel open. Hi, Captain Mr. McFarlane and Minister uh, Satchmo. I'm, uh, I heard that there was a fresh child, an infant on your ship that we're looking to sort of get our hands on. Are you okay with that? Is the other guy here? A ship? We don't have any rendezvous orders. What for? Well, okay, I'm so here. I'm in the medical team on the Playboy officers. Mansion ship, and we're looking to give the kids sex change. Here, here's the lucky two fathers right now. Two, uh, three to be on board. Uh, three males, gay males, males to be on board. That's ex people are members of the union. Which, by the way, could be jeopardized if the Admiralty decides that this is unethical. Excuse me, I'm handling you this. See the size of all of this. The first thing I saw that was missing in our baby daughter was a cock and balls. And if, you, if a baby doesn't have a cock and balls to play with, then what the hell is the point of even having a baby at all? Thanks. Excuse me, I'll have a cock and balls on my infant. Could you tell me where the nursery is? Hey, hey, is the nursery right next to the bar? Thanks. Thanks, I appreciate your help in there. Could you fuck another guy with me walking in on you again? Uh, so anyway, about that time I walked in on you when you were fucking this other guy, I'd really like to talk about that again it? since we were in the bar. <laughs> Who's that face? Baby was born with a third leg. Like a whole full size. No, like a cock. No, like an like actual leg with like a foot on the end of it and everything. And we had the doctor remove it. Okay, Brian, now, no can you say it again? About that, right? Even though Look, Brian, we're not going to have a kid because I wouldn't bother having a kid with a guy that walked in on me sleeping with another guy and didn't kill me. The Mocklins view the female gender as a handicap. Yeah. There's one person on board who might be able to help. Who's this? The fu- You ready? Oh, oh yeah. Do understand the purpose Let's see this. it, okay. Here we go. Round Let's one, Let's do ding, this. Ding. Take a swing at me. What is ding ding? Never mind. In your world, they hit women. Now let's do it in this <laughs> world, too. Come on, put your hands up. Take your face. <laughs> Well, let him land a punch on you so you can see how strong a Macklin is. <laughs> oh, he's, he's done now. There you go, attempted murder on a fellow officer. Thanks a lot. I will decide what is best for my child. Okay, fine. If you want to have a toy to play with instead of a child to be <laughs> nice. Instead of a child to raise, and I'm just gonna sit in here and stare at the door. <laughs> Rudolph, Rudolph, please, could you tone it down a bit? I mean, that nose of yours. Oh. Uh, that and that's all he does is go through chimneys in the dark of night. He's eating milk and cookies while the kids are in bed. Yeah, he just puts the presents on the floor, right? The, the parents are sleeping. You know that Santa's probably a whole lot like the Macklins. Looks like Santa got pretty lucky, huh? Yeah, Santa got lucky. He wouldn't have been, been able to visit millions of kids in one night. Been euthanized at birth as his father Did he just take a pill? Replicator, baby. Replicator, baby. You must hear the tale of Rudolph. You will rethink your conviction. I promise you, my conviction will not change. You cannot be certain of that. Indeed, I can. How? Because I know that I want a toy instead of a kid. I was born a female. Oh, so it is a whole race of men. Oh, no. Topa. It is a good name. And we must give him a good life. Whoever he becomes. That's it. Case closed. It's a boy. <laughs>